Yeah, investing in the military to me is kind of like um, a person having weapons, having a gun to protect uh, family or for whatever reason you might need it. You hope you never need it, but you have it so that you can if you have to. And to fail to invest in the military would be yeah. When the enemy rolls across your borders like Russia did in Ukraine, it's like whatever your store of weapons was, your store of ammunition, rations, and your training. That's it. That's what you got. When you know when an adversary rolls across your border or delivers thousands of shipping containers that have robot dogs with killer drones on them and they have guns on them as well and they're distributed everywhere and then you get tens of thousands of drones with facial recognition that now are roaming you know all of your cities looking for specific people to take out that's too late the training you didn't take the gun you didn't buy the ammunition you didn't stockpile it's not going to help you at that point when the, somebody you know you get five home invaders kicking your door in and you're and you want to call it, you don't have any way to defend yourself the you weaponized your geometry class the force on force training which is the closest thing you're going to get to a gunfight because you're using real guns that have like utm style submunition training rounds if you haven't prepared you're at the mercy of the criminals and you know they basically have the lives of you and your your family in their hands but if if you've taken those classes and you're prepared and, and the door gets kicked in, you're back in your bedroom, you're grabbing your pistol and you're slowly, methodically clearing rooms, looking for the target. You put your red dot on the target, you slowly ease the trigger back. It's just automatic. It's unconscious competence. And then you easily, especially if you do transitions and multiple rounds on multiple people really quick when you practice those things and you do that thousands and thousands and thousands of times, like I have, it becomes really quick. Even if you got four or five attackers and you got a nice semi-automatic pistol, you can take out those four or five attackers in fractions of seconds and then eliminate the threat. And your rounds are all accurate. And, you know, it's not like in Hollywood where you see people drawing their guns and, you know, just blasting through magazines and half the time they don't hit anybody. It's like that's not how a, a real gunfight works in the real world. And the real world is... It's the person that knows how to use the gun is the one that's that's victorious because once you know, all you need is one round and in the off switch and that person ain't ever getting up again to threaten you or your family or the people that you care about. So those are the things you train for. But if you haven't prepared, you know, who is it? Um, uh, Confucius, I think he said, success depends upon prior preparation and without said preparation, there is sure to be failure. Like I said, when your door's kicked in, or you're being carjacked, or your enemy has rolled across your borders, whatever you got, that's it. That's what you got to survive upon. There's no, you know, wait a second, I'm going to go knock on my next door neighbor's door and ask for 1% of his weapons. It's too late. Yep. Especially a long protracted war, even with having lots of weapons, if, you know, you have... You have malfunctions, things break. If there's no way to get replacement parts or anything and you only had one gun and your gun breaks, well, now you're just you're just, just as good as being disarmed. That's why you have multiple pistols, mobile rifles, different specialty rifles for, for distance or short barrel for CQB or pistol style um, guns, sub guns. 